are back in action. We'll find out though soon, I guess. Um, things you guys have missed. Why Senpai got a big charge up on our stream there. We're looking at potentially having Teleporter come back up here soon. Um, they're running a real tight one healer build here, which can be dicey, but we're gonna have Demetis up with the ult, which is gonna be really helpful here as well. Oh, Nightmare getting picked up though. Picks up his heal, but it's not gonna be enough to stay up. And now we're gonna be in kind of tight spot here, potentially. All right, it looks like uh, Earth Team's gonna be losing this point, potentially. We'll wow, see. quite the perch oh. point there. What is going on? Really good ult here, so it's just not working at all. Uh, I'm gonna go off our Wi-Fi here real quick. How is this possible? Oh. Like it's showing. Uh, here we go. Oh no, we're good? We got it. Yeah, All right. I think it might be here actually. Alright. Alright, we're back guys. Sorry, I'm not sure yeah. what happened. Uh, we got. Yeah. If you can see it and hear us, just uh, message something there so we know it's working. Alright. Missed a little bit of the action. What we're looking at here is Dan just running in as. Widow here, which I personally don't see that often outside of just running out of the clock tower, so this is unusually successful. Ooh, wow. unbelievably good play. We got Earth Team right now is up 1-0, and Dan's making picks, but yeah. just completely gets reversed by a really good res there. We've got our shield generator down for our team, which might give Widow a little bit of difficulty making other shots with that added shield regen. Oh, for sure. Still got Team Win pushing in hard here. Dan popping the ult for some vision. He's gonna come up and around. It looks like he's going right after that Symmetra. Ooh. Oh, is he gonna let her go? Oh. They managed to pick her up, and we got Nightmare coming in from the back, trying to hold this point back, but Wind is just constantly running him down here. And it looks like... They're not giving him an inch. Looks like they're gonna be able to pick it up here. Enemies behind him, we're gonna have Sakel's alt up here shortly, which if he can get through Trinehard, it's gonna kinda of be the end of it. Ooh, Whoa. big charge there. Wow. Gonna pick him up, shields down, which means it's open season for Sakel if he wants it. I think we're gonna see it here. It's not needed as they pick up the point. Wow. As SJ Ripper picks up the shield generator as well. So they lost that shield buff now. Yep. Why up by staying on Symmetra? Not sure if I agree with that pick, but yeah. We will see. So they're probably going to be working on getting Trinard's shield down. Dan manages to fall, which is a big issue for Team Wind here. But they might lose their shield, which might allow Seiko to pop a big ult here. Back and forth, playing cautiously. So as an SJ Ripper looks like it's picking up all the damage right now in Dan's absence. So this is a really strong Farah part right here. So if you notice, they can easily take that upper left portion there with their Farah. And I mean, Dan is going to do a good job contesting Xave. He knows that if he pops his ult in a vulnerable location, he's just going to die. But that being said, he can still do a lot of you damage. You can see he's hovering just a bit lower there as well. Oh, Kaiba Senpai did switch over to a Zen, so that makes a little more sense. Yes, they need that extra heals there. And a nice little offense. Seiko well. trying to make something happen there, but it's just not going to be enough. Nope. So we got Link up with the res here, and they're kind of knocking on the end of the point here. Ooh, Dan, great pick. So one of the problems with those Zens against the Widow is... Widows can just shred them apart, which is exactly what Dan's doing. Yep. On the flip side, the extra damage from the Zen makes, you know, Xave a pretty strong target there. Wow. Picks Ooh. up those hits. Oh, he's going to be a hole. Ooh, great all. Picks him up. So now they're going to get pretty aggressive here. Trinehard dives in, but oh, there's the rest from Link. Link again with the, with the saving res at the last second. Seiko trying to go ham right now. 
Buck gets charged and slammed down again. Reinhardt playing some unbelievable Reinhardt play right now. Wonder where he got his name from. I know, right? This is probably the best we've seen him play. Here we go. Big all, potentially. Is he going to pop it? There it there is. There it is. Oh, he goes down, but, but should still pick up a couple kills. Yeah. There. Or they don't. Oh, my. Wow, no kidding. I thought Zave was going to pick up the damage there. Oh, all right, so they, that means his pops a pretty early all, wants to stabilize. They lost two. I think it's a good move on their part. Yeah, I think so, too. You really can't. This bend here, you got to keep it as close as you can. Absolutely. There's nothing to fall back to at this point. And they know that Team Win came in here with a fury, and you know they need to be able to deal with that right away. Ooh, oh, direct rocket hit to Howl there. This is going to be tough for him. Oh boy, there's Yuri going down. It looks like Team Earth is just locking this down. Zabe is single-handedly cleaning house here, just picking off the characters one at a time, or heroes one at a time. <laughs> characters. That's it. Zabe picking up the rest of it. Wow. Earth team is probably pretty thankful for their teammate there. Yeah. But we've got two good defensive alts here coming out of wind that are really strong. Lucio, Mercy can really stand up with that. If you yep. look at our Earth team, they don't have their Zen alt. They're going to probably have their Mercy alt, but they don't have the ability to really handle too much. And here we go. We're pushing in here right now. Powell initiates the attack. Good call. It's always nice to start with that Lucio him back. Alt. Trying hard misses his charge. Now we got some big opportunities here. They're exchanging kills back and forth. I'll try and get a little even this here. time. Dropping out, dropping out. There, there you go. There's that puppet. We've yep. got Link. Looking maybe to make an alt happen. Not enough. Dan getting surrounded gets taken out. Their team kind of falls back. They're going to try and regroup here for one last push. Yeah, you can see they tries to, to make save. something happen, but he quickly gets surrounded. See, I think that was too early. You should have waited for the rest of the team. They had time. They had time. They don't have time. We're at five seconds right now. It was 15 when he pulled his all. <laughs> Kawhi Senpai pops her all, stays up. They're trying to get reassurance. Yeah. Just don't think it's going to happen. They do a quick cleanup here. There we have it. Team win makes it pretty far, though, wow. so we're going to see what we can do here. Yeah. Very well played. The soldier all to me, being the more soldier player, again, I feel like it's like uh, with Farah, you're so vulnerable during your alt, and so is Reaper for that matter. You absolutely have to plan those. You cannot go in uh, guns blazing, pun intended, and just you know expect to take down uh, take down the other team. Absolutely. Plus yeah. a high vantage point. I mean, one thing that we haven't seen a whole lot here is the Anna soldier combo. That's a bread and butter combination that typically is, I mean, we see that in our comp matches all the time, but teams are favoring more of this Zen work, the Lucios, the Mercies. Annas are just definitely not a team, or not a part of the composition that we see very often at all. I have to say though, yeah, the Mercy still, it's like a must have. Perhaps. I definitely think she has a good, str uh, strong play here. I think for teams and players that maybe are not as confident in their aim, a Nana might not be their best option. Agreed. But for players that have good aim, that have the ability to land those shots, she can be devastating. She's one of the strongest healing outputs in the game currently, and can also do a fair amount of damage even after the buff, after, even after the nerf. Not to mention the healing well, the, debuff. And the not to mention the I was going to say the sleep dart to me is is one of the biggest things in shutting down, you know, those really mm -hmm. good DPS offensive players on the team as well. So we're going to see what our Team Earth is able to do here um, against our Team Win defense. So we're going to see where they choose to defend. Some teams choose to defend back, which it looks like is what they're wanting to do there. Kind of in anticipation of the Widow. A lot of times the Widow makes their shots kind of down this straight line, you set up to the right. You sometimes avoid that and force them out of that little enclave, which yeah. looks like exactly what they're doing. It's interesting, they're holding far back like that. Forces the Widow out, which is good for not so strong Widows. We're gonna see what they're able to do here. Nightmare opting for the Winston. We've seen him with a lot of success on Roadhog, and I think in some ways it would have made sense on this point as well, but he gets in the back line and just starts really laying down the hurt, and they're not responding. Wow. Well, if you also take a look, we've got a Zarya there by Dan, who's gonna try and absorb some of that. 
not going to be enough, though. They're no. easily going to hold on to this wow. point here, potentially. Nightmare doing a great job picking up wow. Link. That's some really good uh, Winston play right there. Yeah. And he's trying to make something happen with this Arya, but it's going to be a, a challenge. Charge. Trying to run back. He isn't able to make it happen, but they still got a lot of map left to work with, so we're, we'll yeah. see what they're able to do here. Alright, we got five minutes though. We're gonna see what they can do. Plenty there are a lot of Mercy Reds in here. These guys love playing Mercy. Yeah, they do. We saw some of that last week as well. So we, we've got Xave opting for the Tracer some Tracer, here. a nice, nice diversion. I like that. They're definitely looking at more of this dive style composition. Though, yep. to be fair, a dive style really is only going to be effective, and it's really a, a dive style because of the Genji that's involved in it, but we're still seeing this work regardless. Wow. That means just waiting in the back line for an ult, which he might counter Whoa. ult, Link's ult, and now we've got both teams bump at full strength here. Seiko trying to break through, making something happen here. Trinart's ready to there we oh, go. May alt on there, halting. Is she gonna try and alt on this? Seiko just kinda getting bounced around right now. Pops his alt, but doesn't really catch no, anybody. Didn't really get anybody with that. They are able to slow down the earth push, which is important, but for how long? For how long? Wind team trying to regroup. They're gonna back under the arch there. Yeah, that's a good position, but yeah. Earth Spawn is so close, it can definitely be a challenge. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's always better to safe to stay back because that open window up there on the left is also pretty hazardous. Ooh, lays into Xave there, Ooh. keeping him back. Nice kill. Wow, nice, nice cleanup there by SJ Ripper. All right, there we see Nightmare's Roadhog. He's decided I've had enough of these guys. Time to really push make them pay. We got, you can see him positioning there. There we go. That's where you see that. Trinehart, he's pocket healing. Great, all day. Nice. Oh, manages to pick up that Mercy. Doesn't doesn't make it work. We've got Demi to stand back, easily able to keep his team up. Team Earth making a push right here. So they've stabilized, they're pushing through. If they can make it through this bend, it's very challenging to hold the card at the end there. And that's what they're looking to do with Nightmare poking up, trying to get those kills. So we're going to see maybe one We've or two good two, opportunities. Yeah, I was going to say, we also got two Mercy Reses here, which means either team could be saying, let's use that to our advantage again. Mm -hmm. And we've also got Dan's ult. That Zarya ult is unbelievably effective. It can really turn the course of the fight. And they're going to make a play for this oh, card yeah. here, but that's not the right no. time to do it. No. All the defensive ults coming down is going to make it really hard. And Link goes down trying to hide, but Soldier just Soldier's cleaning up house right there. Now that's an effective soldier ult. I wish we could have seen it in its entirety, but <laughs> taking out three there. So... So Team Earth, Earth is making the final push here for the win. I'd say that was a big, that was a big breakthrough moment for Team Earth. They're yes. on the home stretch. They gotta be feeling pretty good right now. So if Wind is not able to hold this final push, that's gonna potentially be the end for Team Wind. Trying to pop that May alt a little bit early. They just don't have anybody to deal with Xave. He's just picking them yeah. apart. Oh, I spoke too soon. Xave picks it up. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh great nice pull, pull. Nothing's more gratifying than that. Hook Ooh. into the lava. Nightmare pushing, trying to make it pushing. happen. Got a big opportunity for an alt there. Big alt. Ooh, gets caught instead. No! We do have Link, though, coming up. Big res. Keeps everybody up. Breathes a little bit more life into these teams. We're going to see what they're able to do here. SJ Ripper keeping it up, but again, another Mercy ult stops him from getting through here. Ooh, that may barely staying alive. we got the Earth team hanging on for dear life. Seiko in the corner as a Ryan getting taken They're almost out. reversed. Oh, no. There we go. There is Zuri right. trying to make it happen. Trying to hold that card. Howell knows how important it is. That as long as you got somebody on the card, it'll make it happen. Rexall will be in the next set of games, hopefully. We've got Dan really trying to make it work here. Doing a great job. Gonna have his ult up soon. 
and another male oh. comes down. Another, what is that, three in this corridor <laughs> so far? She's doing some work. Dan, they're doing a really good job picking them off here. Nice shot. And they've stabilized. Team. Yeah. They wow. can If they can get Xavier, yep, there we go. All right. Good job, Team Wynn Win stabilizes wow. on the corner. Oh, that's oh, bad. No. Really bad res wow. there. Nope. We got... Are they going to answer oh. it? And the defense with the... With the Maybe Zen. Maybe it wasn't that bad. The Zen what? comes in, picks it up. And that's going to be it oh. for Team Wynn. It smoked too soon. And that's going to be it. Team Earth. Wow. Gets third place. Close game there at the end. I cannot wow. believe that that Zen all saved them. All right, we're gonna see. Assuming that our teammates are ready to go, let's watch this play of the game here. So we got, we got uh, this is out of our newcomers. There's that alt. Really helped carry that in. Nice job. All right. Those are our stats for the game, and this means that Team Earth is going to secure our third place. Team Wind ends in fourth place.